Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 20, a milestone episode, right? Episode 20? Uh, so, we've done pretty well. I mean, not great, but we've done well. We beat Blackburn 1-0, Marin Pills with the early goal. We went with a pretty heavily rotated squad against Petersburg in the Carabao Cup, including starting our 18-year-old keeper, uh, reserve keeper. We ended up losing 3-1. The board was disappointed. I think we were supposed to reach the second round, but, or, yeah, something like that. Um, but you know what? Just, um, there's so many games in the championship. I'm not even bothered. There's not a lot of money in the Carabao, so whatever. Uh, Huddersfield beat us 2-0. Carlin Grant with a brace in the first 14 minutes. Uh, we were just carved open, and defense tightened up after that. Uh, we switched tactics against Hull and won 3-1. Adam Ida with a goal. Bright Ingboher uh, with a goal, his first goal for the club. And Aaron Collins with a goal. And Ida and Collins both on the pitch at the same time, which I plan to do today as well. We're playing Middlesbrough at home, Not Nottingham Forest away. And a lot of lot of home games here in the first month. So if we take a look, we've only made six hundred and seventeen thousand. Uh, I do want to. So we're making a loss with our home games. Uh, just we're selling out. We're selling out, except for the Carabao Cup. But uh, I really want to look at this Nottingham Forest game when we play it and see if we get a cut of the gate receipts. We might be able to tell here. I'm going to say 216,000. I'm going to say that's, well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I know that we get, it's what, about 100,000 a game. So I would say two home games. We're not getting a cut of gate receipts from the road. Uh, the board did agree to improve the youth facilities. So they are going to start working on those. They'll take about a year and cost about $400,000. Uh, it'll get us to whatever the next grade is. I don't know what we're at. Not even sure what to see, where to see that. I know there's somewhere, but I have no idea where, where to find that. So if you guys have any idea, uh, let me know. Yeah, I, I have no idea where to find that information at. But anyway, let's get to the team selection. We're going to be going with Collins and Ida up top, Freer and Ingbook Hare on the wings, White Pilge in the middle, Wharton Williams in the center, Ross and Kitching anchoring the back line, O'Malley in goal, and uh, we do have a couple of injuries. McGinley is injured. Uh, he'll be out in a, he'll be returning in a couple of days. And I've been going with uh, the extra player on the bench rather than the keeper, uh, just to have an extra outfield player. So hopefully that works out. Uh, I am going to drop back to balanced here. And I think, I think we'll do that. Kitching lacking match sharpness. He's just coming back from an injury too. But we will get it figured out. All right, we're in our green. Middlesbrough in their red. Coming up on about 10 minutes, so we're going to ask for some creativity. A oh, nice tackle, but it goes right to another Middlesbrough player. Uh, should have intercepted that. Need to intercept that ball. There it is. White's on it. Nice ball over the top. Isa runs onto it. Cannot find the net. Keeper makes the save. Ugh. Ouch. Set piece. Off the post, and O'Malley scoops it to keep us in it. All right. Playing well. Playing well. We're doing okay on possession, so I'm going to go up to positive. Knocked away. Freer. He's on the break. We've got two people in front of him. Give him an outlet, boys. 
He takes the shot. What a goal. Oh, that was just a brilliant finish for Freer. Elliott's first goal on the season. And we take the 1-0 advantage as he takes it from halfway in his own territory all the way down inside the box. Brilliant finish past the keeper. You know, I did go I did go uh, before the first match. I went and looked at a couple of teams like Wharton. I went and looked at them. I had looked at Cardiff, of course. And honestly, a lot of those players don't look light years ahead of our guys from a rating perspective. So, you know, that's that's encouraging. That is encouraging. So take that for what it's worth. Zanelli is out. We're a man up currently. Collins. Oh, Wharton. There it is. Offsides. Ah, Ida. Come on. We're looking for your debut goal on the uh, on video. Oh, that was so close. Darn it. Let's uh, let's demand more. All right, he lumps it out. All right, headed away. Good. Oh, oh, that was not good. The counter's on into the box. Oh, and it's a poor finish. And we were just playing with the ball there in the box. They went ahead and made a move there, substituted off the injured player. All right, um, I'm going to bring Hunter on for Ida. I'm a little leery of the yellow card over there. Let's go and bring uh, Richie Reese on. I don't know if it's Richie or Reese. I'm going to go Reese. Let's bring him up into the mid today. Wharton will stay on the back line. Uh, I'm going to give him some praise now. All right, let's go into the tactics here. Start slowing the pace down. See if we can milk another three points. That would be nice. Uh, let's see. Well, you know what? Yeah, we'll go there. Williams. Ekabari. Pills just struggling a little bit today. Uh, let's give... Um, Let's give Ibu Adams a little bit more game time. Let's ask him to concentrate. They are overwhelmed. Four minutes of stoppage time. Oh my God. Put him under pressure. They go all the way to the back. I tell you what, we do a pretty good job in the air. I don't usually have a really strong aerial team, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh! That wasn't good. And that wasn't what I wanted from our, our aerial, but he made up for that. Oh, I'm so happy there. What the hell are you guys doing? And it's a gaff. He misses the goal. Okay, I don't know what the hell all that was. It looked like some under eights, you know, uh, but we won. That's that's all that matters. And oh my God, we are second in the table. There's no way we go up this year. None, right? None. Excellent effort, but there's no way in hell we're going up this year. I wanted to check something real quick. Uh, let's see, Freer. Yeah, you were good. Thank you. Let's jump into the squad. So just to give you, you know, the quick glance, nobody's standing out, but we've got seven players with goals. Here's what I wanted to kind of look at. So our best player now 
is Nico Williams, right? That's the guy that's in from Liverpool. So anytime you bring on a superior player, it's supposed to redistribute your stars, right? So if we take a look at this, White is still a four-star. Pills is still a four-star. That's basically what they were before when they were the best players on the club. McGinley is still three and a half with four and a half potential. Rawson may have dropped a little bit, but he's still solid. Adams, I mean, you know, look at the depth of three-star current ability that we have. And, you know, uh, so, yeah, I mean, we're almost a full bench in depth of players that are three-star or better current ability, even with these new guys on the club. I mean, you know, Freer's dropped a little bit. I think that's why Ball went down. I mean, Shepard's still really good. So, yeah, that's, that's real encouraging. Anyway, we'll be right back for the next match. All right, we are back. We are playing Nottingham Forest today, and we are on the road. Oh, that's what I want to look at. So we have got uh, 848. Thousand nine fifty seven. I just want to see if we get any financial bump from this. Don't know if we're televised or not. Uh, we're going with Collins and Ida up top, Freer and Ekenar, Eka Bakar on the right, White and Pilge in the center, Wharton McGinley, Ross and Williams across the back line, O'Malley in the goal, and Akinola is going to be our extra player on the bench today. McGinley's just coming back from that injury, but he is definitely the step up in that position. Interesting to see they're playing a 4-4-1-1 that we do play a lot, but we'll see how that goes. Just trying to get a feel in the early going. Freer plays it short. Wharton at the edge of the box. Oh, Freer, what a brilliant pass into the middle of the box. Aaron Collins slots that one home. That was a brilliant buildup. I <laughs> certainly don't know who taught him how to do that because it wasn't me. That was nice. Oh, just real nice. Quick touches on the ball. I can't tell him to get creative now because that was pretty damn creative. Keep it going, boys. I don't want to encourage him. Uh, let's demand more. White outside, back out to Wharton. There's a cross. White takes a shot from the edge of the box, and that is a big finish. Wonderful goal, second of the season, and we are up 2-0, 23 minutes into this game. We're playing balanced, but we are pretty much dominating, so let's bring it up to positive. Now I'm going to give him some praise. Pilge is overwhelmed. We do have a couple of yellows on the books. I am finding this, this tactic, I'm getting more yellows. Not sure what's causing it, but uh, it's not, uh, you know, we do have tight, use tight marking, but we're not doing, um, we're not getting stuck in or anything like that. Nice ball in. Oh, what a finish by Ida and his second goal of the season, first on video. And it's a 3 nothing advantage going in to halftime. Wow. Was not expecting that. We're uh, we are off to a start that I was not expecting this season. Uh, excellent efforts. We've got a couple of yellows to worry about. We did get this fixed finally. That was nice. All right, a little counter opportunity. Looks like we've gotten back safely. I hope that wasn't a 
foul it was. He might be getting a card. And Nico Williams pulls a red card. Oh, shoot. All right. Yeah, let's do this. And I'm going to keep them all there. Um, I'm going to drop him to support and him to support. You know what? And I'm going to bring deep lying playmaker. It's a little off kilter, but it's one more player in defense. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, and let's go ahead and start slowing the pace down now. Not with time wasting, but just with the keeper holding on to the ball. Uh, and you know what? We are going to go back to balanced. All right, there we go. Nice job. Oh, Collins. Collins beats his man. Oh, and it's almost like he stubbed his toe in the grass. What was that? What was that? All right. Uh, Pilge. Let's bring uh, Dominic Ball. But he's he's actually a defensive mid. Can he pass? Yeah, he can. So he can play that deep line playmaker. Um, Freer. I don't have anybody else that can go out wide there. I think Kennedy could do the job. His marking is actually better too. Let's bring him in for Freer, uh, and then confirm. And then I want to pop into tactics here. I'm going to change him to a halfback on defend. And I'm going to make him an inverted winger. That's What that's going to do is cause him to drift inside, which puts him more into that number 10 position. And we don't have fullbacks on that side. That could expose. I'll have to watch for that. That was a poor kick. Good save. We'll take that, O'Malley. Let's tell him to tighten up. Good header out. Oh, man, right on the post. O'Malley knocks it away again. Hey, we can do that all day as long as they don't score. All right, now let's jump in. And let's start doing some time wasting. I want to look at something on Ida. I was looking at his heading. All right, come on, boys. We've got, you know, we've got a lead. Let's just make it stand up. What the hell was? Oh, I was like, he was just letting the ball roll into the goal. What? What was happening? Did that count? I guess it did. Bounced off of both bars. Okay. I'll believe it. Uh, concentrate. They're overwhelmed. All right, I'm going to go defensive here. All right. So we're time wasting. We're defensive. You can't tell me I'm not tweaking the tactic up trying to milk this one. <laughs> And we make it stand up. I think we got a little lucky. And we go, oh my God, can you believe that? Can you believe that? Top of the freaking championship. Nico is going to be... Uh, was that... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Was that a double yellow or was that a straight red? It was a double yellow. Okay, so he only misses one match. And uh, he's fined a week. And, again, we, we're fined, and the fines are piling up because it was 6000 the first time, and now it's 12000 so they're piling up. Eight, I mean, you know, it's not like we have a ton of money to afford the fines, right? Chill out, guys. Chill out. We don't have, I'm not getting stuck in. I'm not doing any of that. There's nothing I'm doing differently than either one of our other tactics. I don't 
think. All right, we usually played this one. That's all. That's the same. That's the same. So I don't know why we're getting the yellows here. It is what it is. Um, well, I'm pretty damn happy with that episode. Four to one on aggregate, six points from two matches. Oh, finances. We were at 848. No, we did not get any money from that match. Let's advance the day and make sure it gives us credit for the day. Yeah, he took a week's salary penalty. All right, that should get us past. No, so no money from away gate receipts. So that's that's disappointing. I mean, I guess it's good that you get 100% of your home, but not when your home is, you know, 35,000 seats less than anybody else. Uh, so anyway, we're going to try to hopefully get some TV revenue. Do we have any TV matches? I got to think, as we continue on the season, if we stay top of the table, we've got to be picked for some television matches, right? I would just assume. So where do we come back? I think we're going to go ahead and get into October. Um, let's come back for, let's come back for Wigan and Luton. Wigan offered us a job interview. We passed on it. Uh, I would expect to possibly start getting some more job interviews soon. Wigan near the bottom of the table. Uh, Cardiff is there in eighth position. I mean, there's only one point separating us from eighth position. So, uh, well, I'm sorry, no, three points. So one game. I mean, you know, it's not like we've opened up any type of lead, but it's it's reassuring, right? Uh, let's see. Who was picked, just real quick for you guys, uh, season preview. Southampton was relegated, so I don't really want to look at them. They're going to have premier players. Let's look at Watford. Their key player is Ainsley Maitland-Niles. And he is a right back. Now, granted, we have a... We have a lone player from Liverpool there. But he is valued at 27 and a half, right? Let's compare him to um let's compare him to Shepard because Shepard was our starter there. So Shepard's actually better at defending, equal in mentals, better in the air. Not much worse technical. I'm assuming that's just not scouted, I guess. Um, better vision for Maitland-Niles. But Shepard's at least a 10. We're not getting blown off the field here, are we? Not for that value. And he's making $4 million a year, and we're paying him 351000 I don't think we're getting blown off the pitch here by players. At least I don't think we are. I could be wrong. Uh, you know what? Let's look at uh, their striker. Yao Pedro, 19 years old, one goal in four. And our main guy is Collins. So, yes, Collins is not as good, but... Again, it's not like he is horribly outmatched. That actually reassures me. That, that's kind of what I wanted to look at. All right, guys. Well, don't forget, subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. You know all this stuff. I do appreciate you guys hanging with me and still continuing to watch episodes. Uh, I know we are late in the life of FM20, but... Still loving the game, so I will continue to play it. And uh, anyway, we will be back, uh, what did I say, Wigan and Luton. So we're going to have a run of games, and that should set us up for moving into holiday season and give us an idea of what we might really expect. And 
then as we get into December, um, if we're still challenging for that automatic promotion spot, we may drop some money. I mean, I've got 800000 in payroll and a million dollars, basically. We could bring in a couple of good players in the winter transfer window if we need to. But they're going to have to be able to start for us, or I don't see the point of dropping that kind of money. On the flip side, we may go out and sign, a, try to sign a couple of really good young players uh, for our under 18. We'll see. Guys, we'll see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.